Hey Fearless Millionaires, in this lesson, I wanna share with you a really powerful technique that can help you save more time, save face, and get more of what you want. But first, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had to say no to someone? <laughs> Doesn't it just kind of make you feel like you're guilty or you feel bad? I mean, really? I mean, I think we all been there. Like sometimes we just don't want to say no to someone. But the reality is we can't be the savior for everyone. We can't save everyone's life. We can't help everyone with all their problems. So we have to learn to say no. And in order to do that, uh, you actually have to say no. But I'm gonna share with you a really cool way to say no, but in a much more powerful fashion that all, not only um, gets the job done by saying you can't do something or it's not for you or you're not good at it and you know you're just maybe you don't have time but to to like to divert the attention uh, in such a way that gets you the opportunity to still save face and still be in a good relationship with that person okay and this works really really well for the, the situation so First, let me give you an example. Um, years ago, when I, before I learned this powerful lesson that I'm about to share with you, I would be, I was just the kind of guy that would say yes to everything. I would, someone would ask me if they needed help moving uh, furniture or they were moving to a new place. I'd say, yeah, sure, no problem. Someone would ask me, hey, Nate, can you lend me some money? I'd say, yeah, sure, no problem. Hey, Nate, can you, um, can you help me paint a fence? I remember my neighbor asked me to help him paint a fence one time. I was like, yeah, sure, okay. So I I would say yes to everything. Uh, maybe you could call, you could you could probably could have called me the yes man because I was constantly saying yes. And you know what? People would verbally, you know, say, wow, thanks, Nate. You're awesome. You're you're such a good guy, Nate. You you're awesome. You know, I'd be getting these like, you know, verbal pats on the back, and you know what? It made me feel so good. And sometimes it would get even to the point where people would give me money for helping and I would say, no, 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 it's okay. I would do this for free. Listen, I've learned so much and I've learned how to um, say no in a, in a positive way, but also so that everyone's happy. Imagine if you could say no to someone, you still get what you want and they still get what they want and you're still happy. It's possible, it really is. Let me share with you how that can be done. First of all, I want you to understand that there's a very powerful technique in, mixed with uh, the way to do this, and it's called the power of the connection. That means you can actually be just as efficient and effective in saying no than if, as if you were saying yes. And let me give you an example back to myself. People I've asked me over the years to say, Nathan, can you help me move furniture? Can you help me do this, do that? And you know, I'm actually not a pro at moving furniture. I have a hard time. Not only am I not that strong to be picking up heavy pieces of furniture, but I'm also just not good at it. I've seen guys who, one, they're just like, they're always fit and in the gym and they're picking up the, all these heavy pounds and they're like amazing at moving furniture. So an example like this would be if today I was to get asked to help move furniture, I would say something like this. And I, if I still wanted to help out, I would say something like this. I would say, you know what, Bob? I am not great at actually helping move furniture, but I still want to help you. I actually know someone who can help move this furniture. Let me connect you to them. You see that? That's the power of the connection. So therefore, you can actually not saying no, like, hey, it can't be done, but you can also find someone that can do it. You can also respond by saying, hey, Bob, listen, I'm not the great at moving furniture. It's actually not my unique ability. And actually, if I went and helped you move the furniture, it would probably be take you longer and I'd probably damage some of your furniture just because I am not good at it. However, let me find someone and or let me call this person to help, help you move the furniture. And I know he would do it. He owes me a favor or she owes me a favor or whatever it is. But you, you see what I'm saying? There's a lot more power there in the connection than there is if you can actually do it. So over the years, I've seen people struggle with this in all areas, not just in, not just in um, moving furniture, but in other areas where someone is constantly giving and if they feel like if they say no, that it makes them look like a bad person. 
it's actually the opposite is true. Because the reality is, if you keep doing something that you're not good at, that you don't enjoy, and that doesn't make you happy, you're only going to bring more stress and more strife to the entire situation. You're actually going to make the, the, you know, you're going to make the environment bad when you're do when you're operating it. You're not going to be in your best self, and the person who's asking for you to help is not going to be happy with your results of what you brought to the table. That's the truth of it. So if you really want to make it a win-win situation, be the connector. Learn to say no by diverting and say, hey, listen, I'm not the best one for this. I would love to help you, but this is not my unique ability. So allow me to help you in this way. And then you find someone that has that skill set or that ability or that, that technique, whatever it is, that they will be the one to help them out and make it a better situation. And if you go the extra mile and help them make that connection, that puts you at a higher level because there's a lot of power in the connector, right? And you being the person that's connecting people. So that is one powerful way just to, you know, help people to understand that you may not be the one to help them out, but someone else can. And you're still helping your, your friend out, family member, friend, coworker, whatever it is, you're still uh, making that happen, okay? So the reason why you don't want to be the guest person like I was, you don't want to be the guy who or the gal who's always saying, yeah, I'll help you, yeah, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that, sure, no problem. But yet deep down inside you feel miserable after you say yes, it's just because you are looking for something. So I want you to analyze yourself. I want you to look deep in your heart and just think about the reason why do you say yes? Why do you give yourself, even though after you say yes, you might feel bad, right? You might not feel as happy as you did. And is that because you hate saying no? Is it because you, um, you're wondering what people will say or what they'll think of you if you said no to them? Do they think you'd be a bad person? Do they think that you would, you know, they'll look at you differently, right? So I want you to think about some of those things because it is really powerful when you overcome those thoughts and you say, you know what? I am not the right person for this. And the way to find that out, the way to discover it and deliver that with, with congruency and confidence is to know what your skill set is, know what you are good at. You know what your unique ability is. So today, personally, if someone was to ask me, Nathan, can you help me move stuff? I honestly, I say no. I can't help you, but I let me let me contact someone. Let me find someone for you that can do a better job than I can. People have asked me, Nathan, can you uh, help me put something together? You know, some people think, oh, you know, men are handy. Well, not all men are handy, and <laughs> I'm one of them. And I can't build something, I can't put something together and all that like, you know, physically with wood and all that kind of stuff. I'm just not good at that, I'm not handy that way. Um, however, you know, you get, you someone asks me, Nathan, can you walk me through the steps of a real estate deal? Sure, no problem. Nathan, can you tell, teach me how to raise private money? Sure, no problem, right? See, I know what I'm good at and I stick with what I'm good at. And that's really, really important. So just be aware of the things that you are, that you are good in. Focus on those, focus on your strengths. Don't work in your weaknesses focus on your strengths. Strive in your strengths. Because if you work in your weaknesses, you're just going to end up doing more work. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's a lesson I really wanted to share with you today because I know what it's like. I know what it feels like to actually, you know, try and uh, please people or because you, you don't feel bad. You don't want to say no, but don't let that stop you from living a happier life. There's a way around it. Use the tips and techniques in here. And if you learn something or if you're going to try it out or test it, Give this video a like so I know or leave some comments below.